Thank you guys so much for being here. Seriously, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. Like, this is Hollywood, California. Like, y'all could be downtown in a warehouse doing Coke and Molly with David Duchovny. Like, they all are here. I fucking appreciate it. And if that's on the plans, the agenda for later tonight, thank you for coming here first. I really do. You guys are awesome. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, a lot of comics come up here and they start off by saying what celebrity they look like. Uh, I'm no different. Because uh, a lot of people tell me I look like President Barack Obama. His father, uh, his Kenyan parent. That's what I look like. <laughs> That's a misdirect, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm from Maryland, like like the host said, I'm from Maryland, East Coast kid, and uh, thank you. Um, all right, it's not that great. <laughs> Obviously, we're all here, <laughs> near the Pacific. Uh, East Coast kid, but I like LA, LA a lot. LA is cool. LA is full of friendly, friendly elderly white women. It's great out here. It's great. My target demo. I love it. Every time I walk past an elderly white woman in the street, and she like makes eye contact and smiles at me. I like to imagine I remind her of the uh, Black Panther she had an affair with in the 70s. <laughs> Between me and her, a black power fist means two different things. Two very different. I'll go ahead and tell me some stories about the 70s, Fern. I'd really love to, I'd really love to hear those. <laughs> no. I, uh... <laughs> I like older ladies, what? So it's Thursday, I, so I, I'm dressed a little fancy because I went to work today. I work at an office, nine to five, and in every nine to five job I've ever worked at, all the adults, everyone is so excited. If they're excited about Friday, like it's Christmas. Like every Friday, people are excited. Oh my God, it's Tuesday, come more days till Friday. Friday's almost here, guys. Friday, 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 Friday. <laughs> Fuck Friday. That's how I feel about Friday, guys. It's just another set of hours to stay awake through. That's how I feel. It's fucking, I'm one of those live every day like it's great people. I, don't, I know, I'm weird. I'm the anomaly. Okay, that's fine. And then people try to save their idea of Friday by citing extra special Fridays that really ruin their case. Like Good Friday, Friday the 13th, Black Friday. <laughs> They're failing to realize is people die on all those Fridays, you guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ on Good Friday was arrested, convicted, and executed all on the same day. One, that's how I know for a fact that Jesus was black, okay? That's... <laughs> that... And two, Jesus' last words on the cross, his famous last words were, oh, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. P.S. Fuck Friday. Like, that's how Jesus felt, guys. <laughs> we'll make a holiday out of this in necklaces. It's fucked up. Like, <laughs> There's a lot of racial... Oh, I should have warned you guys. After that first joke about Coke and Molly, the rest of the set was going to be about being black. All right? That's, so we're in it now. I'm fucking in it. <laughs> There's a lot of discrimination still, a lot of racism. I fucking hate it. Uh, like we need to break barriers in corporate America and you know the Senate and like uh, just business in general. But I think we need to start small. We need to end all the discrimination and diversify Pornhub's homepage, guys. It's really fucking white. All those thumbnails. All the thumbnails that litter Pornhub's homepage are whiter than a cum shot. We need to fix this, you guys. It shouldn't have to be that I have to dig and search through my porn sites to find minorities and to find scenes with more than 50% women and to find scenes with people with disabilities. It shouldn't be that difficult. It should be front and center, you guys. I go on Pornhub and it's only pretty white people in the front. I gotta go in the back to find people of color. It's not a motherfucking restaurant, okay? It's my pornography, guys. That's how old black dudes say pornography. Pornography! 
I want it hot, give it to me, with pornography. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid guys don't laugh at that. <laughs> uh, I really, <laughs> uh, I want to be famous. I want that to be a thing, but I don't want to be super famous. I want to be like relatively famous. I want to be famous enough that rappers know who I am, and they use me as a reference in their songs for how dark the paint job on their car is. <laughs> I want that to be a thing. You turn on the radio, the new future song is on. You ride around in an old Subaru. My Benz is black as a wusu. Like, God damn. That was a lyric. But I made it. <laughs> um, and this election is just showing me how racist people can be uh, and how racist people are. Racism is a thing that still like is hurtful and harmful. Like it's hard being black in America, you guys. In case you still don't know, <laughs> I don't care what Fox News tells you, you guys. It's fucking difficult being black in America. Police brutality is still a terrible thing we have to deal with and worry about all the time. But one silver lining about being a black dude, especially with this dark skin, I don't have to worry about sunburn, you guys. <laughs> It's my superpower. It's magical. It's wonderful. I don't know what SPF stands for, guys. So I fucking... But I feel for you guys, though. Most of this room, you guys, is the strong California sun out here. Y'all burn like matches. It sucks. <laughs> but that's empathy. Like, I don't experience it. You guys do, and I feel bad for you guys that do. And I feel like we need more of that both ways because the relationship that black people have with the police is very similar to the relationship that white folks have with the sun. <laughs> Just like on a really intense day with no protection, someone might could die, guys. But we need empathy, because like if I, if, <laughs> if one of you guys like came to me, like you're a very white blonde woman, all right? You burn like shit, I'm assuming. If you were to, <laughs> if you were to come up to me all red in the face and shoulders, clearly sunburned, it'll be rude of me to be like, what the fuck happened to you? <laughs> The sun? Look, what did you do to the sun for the sun to do that to you? Because huh? I was outside all day today. I didn't get sunburned. Therefore, the sun shines equally on all of us. <laughs> it doesn't. And honestly, it's fucked up that the stars and the moon let the sun fuck y'all up like that. Fucking... The celestial wall of silence is real, you guys. We need to dismantle it. <laughs> All right, America Lucy, thank you guys so much. <laughs>